of Black Mesa, episode 3, I think. And we have now made it back to the um, reception where we were before. However, the tram is off and some dude just fell off down there, so we're not going that way. Hello? Um, Hello? We have this tube, this uh, ventilation thing here, which we're going to try and head down. Ah, I keep getting into control. And we're going to see what's down here. I'm not filled with confidence so far. This is not looking uh, brilliant. However, we've got nowhere else to go, so let's head down here. We don't have the dude with the gun helping us out anymore. I don't want the mouse. Die, die. Haha, <laughs> I have a crowbar. I have a weapon. I actually have a weapon. I can do something. Cool. Right, so that guy just exploded for some reason. Uh, can I go down there? That's locked. That server system looks broken. I have to say, I have seen them in better shape than that. So let's head through here. Okay, we're definitely not going that way. Oh, we came past it the other day. Oh, good man, well done. Oh no. Oh. Wow, ah, that's what happens. Then it kind of bites their head off and takes over their body or something. Hey, hey dear. That's a really not very nice way to go. Ah! Any guilt I might have felt about killing these things is now gone. Because I'm honestly just putting these guys out of their misery. If indeed they are actually still alive. So there's no actual way of knowing that. I'm assuming that they're still alive, they're making noises, in which case I feel it's on my moral, moral duty to kill them. Like, this guy is not recovering, look at this. Yeah. I don't think there's any coming back from that. Those things mutate so quickly, we've only been doing this for like half an hour. Look at that. So they're not just taking over the brain, they're mutating the body as well. Look at those hands. All the flesh has been stripped off. Things have lengthened. Looks like his rib cage has opened up. I'm not really a medical doctor, but man, they do it quickly. What must they be doing? Oh, I've already been in here. What must they be doing? Because that yeah, that kind of trauma. Or that kind of mutation so quickly. You know, we call those injuries normally. I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry that this happened. We will bring the perpetrators to justice. Hopefully. Um. Okay, so something is still working. And we're loading. Loading, loading, loading. Sometime today would be nice. There we go. Um. Yeah, it's a bad way to go, but at least he's, he'll be dead soon. Of all the various monsters you fight in this game, I think these ones are the most horrifying because of what they actually are. I mean, having weird alien mutants just kind of appear and shoot at you is one thing. I think I might actually be supposed to go down here. But let's just see what else is around here first. He's at it. There's anything in there that's useful. I can't. 
can't see anything. Oh wait, no, there's a shield thing. Cool. Oh, there's two. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit more confident now. I have a crowbar. And I have shields. Well, or armor, or whatever it is. Security camera, that's going to be handy. I think this is new. I don't think I've seen this bit before. I must have expanded the game. Guys, after this, I'm getting a job in Tesco's. I don't think I want to be a scientist anymore. See, this is the downside of building stuff on. Hey! This is the downside of building things underground. Is it's difficult to uh, it's difficult to get out. Like the place I work is something of a research facility ish but it's above ground which means you can just leave the building and run in any direction whereas with here you can't really go anywhere because you can't really dig through rock not with your bare hands at any rate oh gosh what are they what was that uh, hey I, I don't I don't want to know what's up there. I'm gonna go this way. Alright, oh, okay. That didn't seem good. Oh I saw him earlier. strange. It's like a target face. Yeah, I don't know. I can't come up with good names for things. I still don't have a gun. Why do I not have a gun? Cool, well we now have health. That's good. Great, that's not working. I have no idea where I am. Oh, nice. That was one of those things. I think I've got a helmet on, so I don't think they can actually hurt me. I know some of the. Oh uh, dear, that's not sounding good. I know some of the artwork for this game has Gordon Freeman without a helmet on, but he's got to have a helmet on because this bot stuff, or this HUD in the bottom left, you know, he wouldn't be able to see that with his naked eye. So that must be. Oh dear. Ow. Die. There we go. Down here. Ooh, hey, hello, dude. Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. That would Take be useful. me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Sounds good. Come on. Mind if I string along? Nope. Not if you're gonna give me guns.
me and my trusty crowbar will forge our way through the. She's uh, got all blood all over it now. Perhaps we should get going. We will forge our way. Oh dear, Aisha. Sensational. I think this guy might be a psychopath. This is not sensational. Look at them. It's just uh Oh safe haven. I have grenades. Why does a security office have grenades? No. Just well, out of interest. I have rate. a gun. That'll make things a bit easier. There's a mug. I've had mug for excitement. It's a tough okay. mug. Um, you're welcome to stay if you want. I would love to. However, <laughs> Somebody needs to actually go and try and sort this thing out. So I'm going to head this way, or I would if I could get through the door, which I can't. Um, health. Oh, where do I go now? So I'm through there. Do um, you smell what I smell? That door is locked. <laughs> Good, the security camera is still working. I was really worried about that. I'm going to turn this. What did that do? I have no idea what that did. I can get through here. It's a health kit, I'm already on full health. Can't do anything with that. Hot water feed valve number one. If there's a number one, that would suggest there's a number two somewhere. Probably, yeah, that one. So this one goes this way. Ah! well. So now they're both on. Temperature controls. Good, 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 good. Came up that way. Does that mean I can get through here now? No, it's still frozen up. So where do I go? That one's on. Let's go back down here. Oh, I can go through here now. All oh, right, okay. I got you. <coughs> um. Oh dear, no. How did he set the barrel on fire? The barrel was on fire when he threw it, but the dude hasn't got any matches. And there's no sources of fire around here. <coughs> Must be some of the magic power that they have. Um. Gun. Gun, 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 uh, what? Okay, well, I'm, ru I'm running on emergency science protocols at the moment. So it's not. Oh, look, an interesting new alien line form. It's that's not human. Kill it. Oh, good. More bullets. So I came out that way. I can't go that way. Okay. Security oh. Eesh. 
Okay, so we're on security clearance level four. We're wandering around some. Gordon, is that you? Oh, is hello. It safe? Aish, what was that? Oh. Okay, so I just killed another head crab. Oh, oh dear. I do believe that doesn't I work. And he soiled himself here. Wait. Uh, run along, Freeman. I have some sordid business to attend to. Thing is, this guy probably survives if he just stays there and doesn't do anything and stays hidden. I wouldn't surprise me if he actually survived this whole thing. Um, anyway, right, I'm going to end this video here. I think we need to come down, go down there, and probably come out there to carry on that way. And we will pick this up in the next episode. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.